Hey guys, welcome back to Umix Cocktails, and this week we're doing the historic New Orleans Sazerac. Alright, so the Sazerac is the classic, the official cocktail of New Orleans. And there's one man really responsible for the birth of the Sazerac. He goes by the name Antoine Amadou Peychaud. He brought a family recipe of bitters, Peychaud bitters, which we know of today, to his apothecary in New Orleans. So then the word Sazerac comes from the Sazerac family that brought the brandy, the original Sazerac brandy. I don't have it today, we're using Remy Martin. So that family, in respect to that, he named this cocktail that he created. So giving birth to the Sazerac that we know of today. That being said, here's what you'll need to make your classic Sazerac. Some cognac, some straight Kentucky rye whiskey, some absinthe, and then lastly, our Peychaud bitters. I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get yours. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start our Peychaud bitters. Right here, we're going to have 10 dashes of the bitters. There we go, 10 to 12 would be just fine. Make sure it's very, very nice. Concentrated Peychaud for this recipe. Okay, and then we're going to need some Demerara syrup. Again, Amadou Peychaud, he originally made the recipe with a Demerara sugar cube in the rocks glass, but I made it a little easier with the syrup. So we're going to do a bar spoon of this. Okay. Then we're going to, for this recipe, again, he originally made it with brandy with the French Sazerac cognac. Today we're using Remy Martin cognac. But we're going to do an ounce of each. We're going to split the base, classic New Orleans style. So we're going to do an ounce of cognac. And an ounce of rock. And there it is, ready to be stirred. Stir it up. So again, this classic New Orleans Sazerac has really, really evolved. And it became nicknamed the American cocktail for its significance in history. All right. So again, Lastly, herb synth or absinthe as we're going to be using today. We've had our rocks glass chilling right here on the side. We add a few more cubes. And what we're going to do is just a touch of absinthe to rinse our glass. We're going to touch it into the, into the ice just a little bit. It's about a quarter ounce. Just a little bit. And then we're a bar spoon. And we're going to gently stir around this this will allow the absinthe to rinse the glass okay and of course we're going to be chilling our glass as well you can also use an atomizer which helps i'll put a link in the description if you want to get, find your your atomizer it's also it's also very nice when you as soon as you chill the glass you just spray it on but this is another way of, of, of uh, rinsing your, your glass as soon as you have it rinsed, so this Sazerac is very cold. It's going to have no ice in it. Very classically, we're going to no ice. We're going to strain into our rocks glass. There we go. And then lastly, no garnish either. We're just going to express some lemon oil. So again, make sure the pip is facing you when you're expressing over top. All right, one. Just rub around the rim, just so when your guest picks up the glass, really gets that essence of the lemon. Express it around. And discard the peel. And then you're all set. That is the classic New Orleans Sazerac. Let's give it a try. Oh, 
Oh, so that's beautiful. So again, the Sazerac is so classic. It's so essential in the classic cocktails. It's very simple ingredients. It's only got a few. The Sazerac again. It's the official cocktail, so it really, really gives that culture that we know of from New Orleans just in that one sip. Definitely recommend it. So thanks guys for watching. This has been You Mix Cocktails, helping you mix better cocktails. And again, like, subscribe for some more cool videos. I'll see you next week. Cheers.